Following coverage now at five, the Westchester mother accused in the death of two of her kids faces a judge for sentencing. Ashley Riles's attorney said that she worked until one in the morning the night before the deadly fire. And while three of her four kids slept, she went to a nearby convenience store to get a drink and check her mail. In the 14 minutes she was gone, an electrical fire filled the building with smoke. That fire took the lives of two of her kids. Ken Brown takes a look back from the start to today's sentencing. I see smoke and I hear glass breaking. Homeowner saying we got kids inside. Oh. Is anybody in there? Four children trapped inside a burning Westchester apartment. And no parent to be found inside. Firefighters and paramedics did everything humanly possible within their training that they could do to give the, all of these children a fighting chance. Two of those four children have died. This is Ashley Riles. She's the woman that prosecutors say was supposed to be watching four-year-old Bryson and two-year-old Aliyah, who died in that fire. Ashley Janine Riles did the biological parent of this child recklessly create a substantial risk to the health or safety of the child by violating a duty of care by leaving the two-year-old child home alone and unsupervised with her siblings, the oldest of whom was six years old to drive to the Quick Mart approximately 2.5 miles away. What is your plea? It's guilty, 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 it's guilty. Riles pleaded guilty to two counts of involuntary manslaughter, two counts of endangering children, and Judge Noah Powers handed down a six-year prison sentence. The day I had to say goodbye to them, I wish God would have asked me, would you like to trade places? Because I would have did it in a nanosecond. I'll regret this for the rest of my life. Every day that I breathe, I will regret this. The way Miss Royals kept her house, she created a death trap here. And then she walks away for 15 minutes, expecting a young child to take care of his siblings. And that was our Ken Brown reporting. Now, Riles and her attorney requested the judge consider a sentence that would allow Riles to be with her surviving kids and the ability to petition for custody of her youngest child. Her attorney said the only way that could happen is if she was put on probation or let out before the two-year anniversary of the fire.